Let's start at the beginning, because this is not an easy topic to understand. The human body has been constructed in such a way that when a germ or virus gets into your body, the body knows that it has to kill it to stop you from getting sick. When the virus is in your body, it sends out a special signal. The body receives the signal and understands that it has to make enough immunity to destroy the virus before it begins to make you sick. Most people don't know this, but every time your body meets a virus, it remembers that virus and knows how to fight it if it ever comes back. The body, however, is not always fast enough or strong enough to make immunity in the amounts you need at the time that you need it. And so, you sometimes end up getting sick. This goes for any virus. Think of HPV as a candy that has been covered with a bright pink shell. The vaccine injects the pink shell into the body and tricks the body into thinking that this is the virus. Since there is no candy inside the wrapper, no real virus is introduced into the body. Once tricked, the body starts making immunity to kill the pink shells and remembers that it has created protection against this virus. So if you ever get the real virus from somebody who is infected, your body will recognize infection and start destroying it right away. Since the vaccine does not contain the virus, you cannot get the HPV infection from getting the vaccine itself. You can only get it from someone who is infected. Two HPV vaccines have been approved in Canada. The Gardasil vaccine was approved in 2006 and Cervix vaccine was approved four years later in 2010. There are over a hundred different types of HPV virus. Many of them are harmless and the body clears them up by itself. However, there are 15 high-risk types. Of these, type 16, 18, 31 and type 45 can lead to cervical cancer. Type 6 and 11 can lead to genital warts. Both Cervix and Gardasil have been created to focus on HPV type 16 and 18 responsible for 70% of cases of cervical cancer. Both vaccines are considered to be effective against these type of HPV. Both vaccines require a total of three injections. However, there are a few differences you should be aware of. Gardasil has been approved for both girls and boys. Cervix is approved only for girls. Gardasil is also proven to prevent HPV types 6 and 11 responsible for 90% of cases of genital warts. It is certainly recommended that you be vaccinated as it is unlikely that you have been exposed to all the types of HPV that can be prevented through vaccination. The approximate cost of the vaccine is $300 for the Cervix and $450 for the Gardasil. In some provinces, the cost of the vaccine is covered by the government. In other provinces, the cost is covered by certain insurance companies. You can speak to any healthcare provider, such as a nurse, a pharmacist, or your family doctor, because it does require a prescription.